Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to print these. So, what are these? Well, these are actually feet for the Wanho. So, something else I uh, picked up off of Thingiverse. And, uh, yeah, they're stuck on there pretty good. But, uh, anyways, these are feet that slide on. So, the uh, slides onto the Wanho uh, this way. So, I've printed six of them because this is what it typically calls for. And, or at least that's what, uh, you know, the author of the file on the... Uh, uh, think of her site said so anyways we're gonna go ahead and print these out now there's two pieces to these there's these pieces which are the mounts that go on to the one hose so for example on the side here and the side here so there's basically two on the front two on the back side and then two on the side so so basically six if I get all my fingers in here total uh, that you need and so the other piece is the um, uh, uh, screws or feet that actually thread in here because these are like a uh, little nuts. So, uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead. Um, let's go ahead and watch the time lapse of these. I've got a time lapse of these being printed, and you also get to see a little bit of the light that I added in the last video, the build light on the back side of here working. So, that could be interesting. So, and then we'll come back and we'll print the um, the screw feet that goes in here and we'll do a time lapse of those and then we'll look at putting it all together because we'll probably cut some foam inserts with the laser cutter which is right, actually right next door to the Wanho uh, for vibration isolation on the feet so uh, check out the time lapse time lapse video Welcome back. So uh, you just got to see the time lapse of printing the feet for the Wanho. So what we're going to do now is actually print the um, the actual feet, which uh, screw into the um, these bases. So uh, here they are. They printed. Uh, I've already printed them, but I'll show you the um, the time lapse. The time lapse came out a little jerky, but I think you'll get the basic idea. It's kind of neat watching these build again because of the uh, the vertical supports and how there's six of them across. So anyways, um, after after you see the time lapse of these being printed, what we'll do is we'll start putting them together and we'll talk about what we're going to do for the foam inserts to go uh, in the foot for vibration isolation and then we'll actually mount these on the Wanho. So check out the uh, time lapse that's coming up and stick around. We'll assemble them after that. Cheers. Time lapse video. Okay, so the next step is what we do is we need to cut these out. So I'm making some uh, basically, uh, I hate that word basically, I use that way too much. I'm making these foam pads out of some, just some craft foam. I'm going to cut it out on the laser. Actually, I already have. I'll show a quick video of that, uh, kind of interesting. And then, base, in other words, I've now left um, some support material in here. And then what I'm going to do is glue these to the bottom of the, the, the feet to 
provide vibration isolation like this. So I made it a little bit bigger because I wanted to go over the outside and I'm leaving the support material inside here, whoops, bumped the camera, um, to hold it now. What you could do is you could pull the support material out and put thicker foam in there. However, I didn't want to do that, so uh, uh, I'm going to do, do it this way. And because I want the maximum amount of footprint, and I also only only want enough in here to dampen it. I don't want it to really be floating, so uh, uh, this foam has got some nice compression to it. It cuts real easy on the laser cutter, so. Uh Okay, welcome back. So um, we've glued the ends on here. I've just used uh, silicone adhesive uh, spread along the bottom so it's dried pretty quickly. One of the things though that I did want to show is indexing these. So what I did is I just used this. You can use basically anything um, of this nature it's just to go in here. And so I took all six and tightened this down so this was roughly, uh, let me loosen this up a little bit. So this was tightened down on top of this, so they were all the same distance a piece. So when I put them on, you know, they were roughly indexed the same. So you kind of see them on here now. So I have them in the front corners and the back corners on the, on, on the uh, main and the y-axis. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add this um, to the x. And basically they just snap on. And you kind of got to watch. Some, some of them, sometimes they'll fit tight, sometimes they won't. And so we got that one on. And then we'll have to, I have to adjust this a little bit. Move this over. And put this one on. And now these are sitting a little bit higher because this, this is, um, I'm going to have to adjust these down a little bit. A little bit more. Yeah, these I think I'm going to have to go down further because, um, yeah, these, there, there's a bigger gap in between here where these basically sit on the bottom. So there's going to have to be, I have to mess around with some adjustment to get these about right. And then to get them all on because the back ones keep falling up. Um, so there we go. And then let's take this one. And I'm going to have to spin this one up a bit. Because these are going to have to come down. See how this is tipping like this? holding that up like that and make sure I got this one down at the same spot I think I do so now I have to adjust these down and I'll have to adjust the back ones up. Now these back ones um, have to sit a little bit forward because there's some pins down here. There we go. And let me finish this up. Up a little bit. 
And I have a level on here. And because I would suggest getting your bed level first, and I should have mentioned that, is I've got the bed level to the head. And you kind of watch on the levelers I built for the Da Vinci's sort of the concept here. Um, These are fine threads on here, so um, okay, so that's sitting pretty good. And that's not bad. Okay, so I've got it uh, pretty much roughly leveled. Um, seems to be pretty stable. Did this wobble uh, before as it sat there? And I'm just trying to see how much you can see here. I'm going to back it up a little bit. So we now have all the feet on and, and adjusted up. Um, off camera, I'm, I've got this pretty close now. I just wanted to kind of show it because what, what kind of need to do is level it this way, then this way. So you level both sides here, and then you level this way front and back, and then you want to go diagonally. Um, I'll have to move the head out of the way to do that, but then you want to kind of want to go diagonally too to make sure you got your square, and it becomes quite the process by going back and forth between all these because each one affects another one so if I change if I change the X it's going to affect a bit of the Y because I use that to to adjust it so um, you do want to get this as level as possible at least in my opinion and I found good luck on the Da Vinci's uh, with the level and you go back and look at some of my um, videos on that you know, because gravity wants to pull this, you have a molten liquid coming out of here, and so the the more level this is to gravity and the head, I think the better print you're going to get, or at least that's been my experience. So, anyways, um, you know, it's been a little bit uh, detailed video of printing these feet out, but these are really cool. I am really impressed with these feet, um, especially the way that the nuts go together and, and the fact um, of how it sits here now. So I probably will do something in the future because you can kind of see, I think in the video you can see a little bit of wiggle here because there's no cross bracing in this um, Z axis. Well, actually Z and X axis both. And so I'm going to probably eventually build something that, that angles it back to kind of make it, make it a little bit. Because one of the things I noticed during fast infills, I get vibration which moves the head. And... You know, it's in fill, so it's not that big of a deal, but uh, again, I don't like it. So uh, I'll probably figure out an adjustment with some rods or something in the future where I tie off from up here. I think you can see this. No, you can't. So on this side up at the top and then tie it to the back. So anyways, hopefully this uh, was helpful. And if you have a Wanho, definitely would consider this modification. Hey, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, leave comments below if you got any questions. I'll put a link uh, to the Thingiverse uh, STLs uh, in the description below and uh, so see you in the next video. Cheers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.